hello everyone and welcome back so basically in this tutorial we are going to start with building our text editor in iOS application so let's create a new Xcode project and it will be a single view application as always let's name this text editor the language should be Swift and let's choose the devices to be universal and one more thing we are going to create this text editor without using storyboards so for that our first step is to remove the main dot storyboard file from the deployment info of our project and then the second step is to go into our app delegate file and then we have to create our manually window so for that we will start by doing window equal to UI window and it will take a frame and the frame will be the actual size of the device so it will be UI screen dot main dot bounds and then we have to make the window visible so we can do this by saying window dot make key and visible and then we have to specify a root view controller for our application so we can simply do this by saying window dot root view controller equal to the name of the view controller that we want to use so we already have a file called view controller so we are just going to specify the file of that name sorry the name of that file and if we go into our view controller file then we can cross check that our window is perfectly built and our view controller is loading by simply changing the background color of our view controller so we can simply do view dot background color equal to UI color dot I think I should do red to check and if we run the app you will notice that the background of the whole view will be changed to red so you can see that the whole view has changed to red so basically it means our window has been successfully created so let's change this back to white because we don't need the red color in the background so basically in this first video of the text ed editor what we are going to do is we are going to build a build a UI for our application so for that let's create a new class and it will be a swift file and let's name this main view so basically this will be our view file and it will contain all the view code that we want for our text editor so first I'm going to import UI kit and then I'm going to create a new class which will be called main view and it will inherit from UI view now we need the initialization method and inside this we are going to call super dot init and by passing the frame now Xcode will give us some compiler errors so let's fix them by auto correcting so now our view file is without any error let's build this and check if we are getting any error or not so you can see that build, suc build succeeded it means there are no errors so let's start by creating some view so at the top we basically want a black bar that will actually show the name of our application so let's create that now so for that we are going to do let top bar it will be of type UI view or actually we can do it UI label because we want some text to be shown inside it okay so inside the init function we can actually call a new function called setup views and then we will have to create that function down here okay so the first step is to add the top bar in the main sub view 
we can simply do this by saying add sub view and then top bar and then we have to do top bar dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and set this equal to false okay now we can do top bar dot background color equal to UI color and let's choose the black color and now we want some mm, text so we can do top bar dot text equal to let's name this my text editor for now and then we want some size size for our text so we can do top bar dot font equal to UI font and we can use this me method which actually takes a font name and the size so I'm going to use this and the size should be I think let's use 20 for now now we need to add some constraints to our top bar so that it can be shown inside the view so for that we are going to do top bar dot top anchor dot constraint and it should be self dot top anchor because we want to pin it at the top and then we have to make it active it should be self dot top anchor and then we have to make this active and now for the left anchor we basically need to pin this to the left to, to the left edge so we need to do top bar dot left anchor dot constraint and then self dot left anchor to pin it to the left edge and then we will have to pin it to the right edge so we can do top bar dot right anchor dot constraint and it will be self dot right anchor and then we will have to make it active as we have to do in each and every constraint and now the only thing is left is that we have to give a particular height to the top bar so we can say top bar dot height anchor dot constraint and we are going to use the second method and let's give the height to be 65 and then we have to just make it active so we are basically done with all the top bar work and one more thing is we let's change the text color okay and let's choose this to be white and also the text alignment because we want the text to be in center always so we will choose dot center so this is all the work that we need to do for setting up the top bar in our view now basically we have a view and we need to add this view into our view controller so for that we will go into our view controller file and here we will also create a new function called setup views you can actually call this function whatever you want but I like to call this setup views every time so inside this function what we need to basically create and first we need to create an instance for the main view like this and then we need to add this whole main view to our sub view so you can do this by saying view dot add sub view and where we are going to add main view and then we have to add constraints to our main view so let's do that so we are going to say main view dot translate and it should be equal to false and then let's add some constraints so basically we want main view to be equal to the size of the device so for that we are going to pin it to all the four different edges so we are going to say main view dot left anchor dot constraint and it should be view dot left anchor and then make it active so let's copy the whole line so that it will save some time and basically for that we need top anchor and this is we need right anchor and for this we need bottom anchor and let's change it here also it should be top anchor it should be right anchor and this should be bottom anchor okay so I think we are done let's run this and see whether we are getting a top bar at the top of our view or not
okay so you can see that we are getting a very good top bar which is showing the name of our applications which is which is my text editor so I think I should call this video off and in the next video we are going to create some more views and we, we will embed this in our main view controller so I will see you in my next video